everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Megan. Thanks so much for watching. And today I'm going to give you guys an update on how things have been going from week six to week 12 of pregnancy. And before I get into all of that, please make sure you are following me on Instagram. I do post a little bit more often there. And then the other announcement is I'm going to be attempting to do Vlogmas. If you haven't heard of Vlogmas before, it's basically where you upload one video a day from December 1st through Christmas. So that's 25 videos in a row. So I have thought about doing it in the past, but I never pushed myself to do it. And so I decided that this year is the year that I'm going to push myself to participate in Vlogmas. So we will see if I make it through all 25 videos. Um, but definitely make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a video. And let's go ahead and get into my pregnancy update. So I'm not sure if I talked about it in my last video, but since I was in the ER at like six weeks, I did have to do a follow-up with my OB's office at seven weeks, only because that was the soonest that they could get me in. So at seven weeks, I went into the OB's office and... It was kind of weird because it was my first time ever going to this office and um, so basically what they did for me is I just met with the doctor and we talked about how I was feeling. They ended up giving me a prescription for Diclegis which is the recommended medication for nausea and pregnancy and what it is is basically a combination of Unisom which is a sleep aid and the vitamin B6. And I am taking two of those every single night before bed. At first, I don't know that I noticed a difference, but my nausea has been getting better. Um, but I still got a new prescription for Zofrin, and I have been taking that. I was taking it pretty consistently up until about last week. Um, I'll get more into that in a second. But um, basically, they said it was fine for me to keep taking Zofrin, but they did want me to wean off of it. Um, so yeah, that's about week seven. Then I had another appointment with them. I was almost nine weeks. We did an ultrasound and I actually got to meet the doctor, a different doctor. Um, that was my second time going and my second doctor in the clinic that I've seen. Um, both times I was really, um, happy with how the doctors were and they were all really nice. So they did the ultrasound showed that baby was growing appropriately. I got to hear the heartbeat over the um, ultrasound and they gave me pictures. I'll insert one right here. Um, baby kind of looked like a little gummy bear and I got to see baby moving around, which was really cool. And then around week 10 or 11 is when my nausea died down quite a bit and I was only having to take like one Zofrin a day, maybe two Zofrin a day. I did have a couple of bad days where it was like I needed it every four hours again, but then that kind of died down. And so right now, I either don't take one at all or I'm only taking one. So that's pretty good. I'm so happy that it's gotten better. Um, and then week 11 is kind of when my belly popped a little bit, but only like at the very end of the day. So I'll insert a picture of week 11 when my belly popped out. And then at week 12, my nausea is almost completely gone. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm only taking a maximum of like one Zofrin a day if I have to take it at all, which is amazing. Um, I still haven't gained really any weight. I was at like minus 10 pounds from when I got pregnant. And this morning, which I'm now week 13, um, this morning I was only like maybe two pounds up from that minus 10 pounds. So really I have not gained any weight at all. And um, at week 12 I had another um, doctor's appointment for another ultrasound. This time my husband got to go with me and see the baby so that was really awesome. Baby was moving so much during the ultrasound and we got to see the heartbeat again and I'll insert a picture of what baby's looking like now. Baby's still growing so awesome. Um, and they also did a 
nuchal translucency test. And I guess that tests for risks of Down syndrome or trisomy 21. So everything looked good there. They said I'm, I have no risk for that. And the other thing is the doctor that I talked to this time, which third appointment, third different doctor, which is totally fine. Um, they want you to meet all the doctors in the clinic and there's like six of them I think that rotate. So, so far I've been happy with all the doctors. Anyways, the doctor was really confident that I am not gonna have any issues um, or any complications. She said the only one that might happen would be like breach. But other than that, she said she's not really seen any shortening of the cervix or inner uterine growth restrictions with any of her other patients with a unicornuate uterus. So that's really reassuring that I'm at least heading towards a healthy pregnancy and a healthy birth and no complications. I know anything can happen at any time, but it just, it's nice to be reassured that I shouldn't be worrying as much as I probably am. Um, anyways, I have to go back at 17 weeks and that is when they are going to start doing an ultrasound every other week to make sure that my cervix is not changing. They check, I guess that's how they check the cervical length since my uterus is smaller than the typical uterus. They say that once baby gets to a certain size, basically your uterus runs out of room of stretching, so then the cervix can shorten, and once that happens, basically you go into labor, and then you have to worry about preterm birth and all of that. So even though she's confident that there's not gonna be any complications, she still just wants to be on the safe side and make sure that everything is progressing appropriately, and then if there is something that's gonna go wrong, that they catch it early so that they can do something about it. I still don't know what we're having, um, I have sent my ultrasound picture from my 12 week appointment. Um, I sent it to my mom, my dad, and a really good friend and all of them without me saying anything said it's a boy question mark. So I in my gut feel like it's a boy but we still don't know what we're having and I'm not sure if we're going to find out at my 17 week appointment or if we're just going to have to wait until we do the anatomy scan, which usually is between 18 and 20 weeks. So that is kind of where I am in my pregnancy. I will go ahead and show you guys the bump or like lack of the bump, it's so tiny. So I'm already wearing this like belly band thing I got from Target just because my pants can't button, but it's just a little bitty baby bump at this point. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you are following me on Instagram and then also make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.